thousands of protesters also descended on Washington, D.C. Most were peaceful, but some got violent. As of this evening, 217 people have been arrested, accused of rioting during inauguration protests, and six officers have minor injuries, according to the Washington, D.C. police chief. A limousine set on fire as demonstrators wreaked havoc in Washington. Police had to push back the protesters so firefighters could get to the flames. A group of people carrying anarchy flags pushed over trash cans and destroyed storefront windows as they swarmed through the streets. Police fought back with pepper spray and tear gas. We welcome visitors to our city, um, but we will not tolerate the destruction of our neighborhoods and we absolutely uh, will not tolerate violence against our police officers. But as night fell, protesters lit a bonfire just blocks from the White House. Many demonstrators were handcuffed with zip ties and led away one by one. At least one person was taken to the hospital. Closer to home, near Mar-a-Lago, protesters wield a coffin to symbolize the death of democracy. And now a familiar scene outside Trump Tower in Chicago, a huge crowd of demonstrators making their voices heard. But most of the protests were peaceful. In a sign of unity, Trump protesters and supporters stood side by side in our nation's capital. These groups that are breaking windows and things like that delegitimizes a lot of the reason the rest of us are here. More protests are scheduled for tomorrow, including the Women March on Washington demonstration, where more than 200,000 people are expected to take part. Police expect that to be peaceful.